Welcome back. Doing all signs Aries through Pisces. See you first. Elemental quickies. Just not your story. It's not your story. Acknowledge. Move on. Check your other placements. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Aries dealing with another fire sign. Source. We have for Aries dealing with another fire. Three of Wands and the Hangman. One more. Ex expectations. I'm losing my voice here. This is somebody from your past that has some expectations. Obviously. So... <clears throat> this can be making a decision, but it's like there's a little bit of a weight here, a lot of reminiscing, and then the hangman in reversed is kind of like, mm, wondering if it's a waste of time or had been, but there could be a little bit of a lack of trust. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, please source. Yeesh. Temperance, also can be a Sagittarius. Okay, one more. Nice. So this person wants to come very slowly at you with temperance, a lot of balance, Queen of Cups, nice energy. I would say go with that. Moderation, takes their time, has something to offer that is stable. I like it. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Seven of Wands. Two of no, thank you, and then the four of not quite a good idea. All right, so this person, there's a stalemate going on. Neither one of you are really looking at the entire situation. A lot of defensive energy and holding back on emotions. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, three of pentacles reversed. A couple more, please, Taurus. be some obstacles going on here I don't think this person's ready to commit there are a little bit of defensive crap going on here but this person is afraid of being hurt so whatever they had done you know dealt with in the past which could have been a third party situation they're a little defensive all right clean deck Aries Source, what do we have for Aries? What is coming toward them in love? Good things in love. Okay. Four of Cups reversed. One more. Eight of Swords. Okay, so your energy right now is a little bit defensive. Got some struggles going on. It's nothing like L terrible, but it does look like you're having a change of heart here. One more for that Eight of Swords. Where are the Eight of Swords? Feeling kind of stuck because of some arguing. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Clarification. Breakthrough. What else? Okay, so this can be worked on. This is something that there can be a lot of work put into this situation that would kind of heal and take care of some of this crap here. The Five of Wands, drama, bickering, struggles. It's kind of like testing your patience, but it's a bit of disagreement. One more for that. About something you feel that is hidden. Why the High Priestess reversed? This person might hold back kind of avoid some of the confrontation, not wanting to deal with, <laughs> not want to deal with you because you're powerful and very um, able to read between the lines. You have your truth. There's acknowledgement here. There's love here. I mean, this is really a nice bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. So this does grow. How does Aries feel about this situation? It's a good connection. That's the Two of Cups. It's two people that feel the same way about each other. And then you got a little bit of, you know, don't give me any shit. So it, it is showing that you aren't tolerating any crap here. 
could have been something that led to some competition in the past, but you know, moving forward, clarity, love, using your intuition, using your intuition, having everything that you need to be able to use intuition, and that person kind of, you know, it's like answers questions, but doesn't put all of the information in it because it's not always necessary to do. Moving forward, there you are, Aries. All in your power, all in your glory. That's a lot of stability. Can be another Aries that's in your energetic field. But that that's showing that this is a long-term, stable, ambitious person. Very, there's very, very much of a control in the situation. You're feeling confident and there is foundation here. So, I mean, this is... I'm just regular every day. I'm not sure what you need to be refocusing on. Let's see that. Page of Swords reversed. Okay, so I'm feeling like there's a little bit of gossip or crap. Don't listen to what other people are saying. It's almost like you get these little negative messages from others or hints or whatnot. I think it's bullshit anyway. So refocusing, not paying attention to the outside world, just dealing with the relationship that you have at hand. Things look pretty good. I do think that there will be this person putting in more work to this chapter in your life, dropping, you know, the squabbles and little bickering bullshit. So that feeling of being stuck, I think you are trying to get rid of and clearing it up a little bit. There's honesty. There's a breakthrough here using your intuition. I mean, it's really nice energy. So we have Aries. We have water signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy Pisces. All signs are up here. All right, let's get Big Blue for one answer for you. Yes, no, maybe so, source. And you have, yes. All right, on we go. Taurus. All right, source. Taurus is dealing with a fire sign. I'm going to get one shuffle in this deck here quick. Okay. Taurus is dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two of Swords, the Hangman, and the Queen of Cups. So this is somebody that has emotions, but they feel like the two of you are not seeing eye to eye here. The Hangman is like holding back. Could be a period of somebody using their intuition and not speaking right now. Heavy on the Pisces as well. But there is emotion here. So, kind of iffy. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. you got the Two of Wands, Reverse, and the Magician. So this person's trying to make really feels like this person's trying to make you make a decision by trying to manifest. What else? You're not having it. It's like you don't want this to get off the ground and they're trying to kind of force it a little bit. No, I'm saying that you're kind of holding back on that. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, please. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. So you got Joe Cool here. It's trying to act like things aren't bothering him and be all mm, responsible. However, this person still, they want to come in fast and have a discussion about stories that have been told in the past and kind of drop it. Try to tell a new one. Seven of Swords. Also a little bit, you know, holding back on their emotions or lies and bullshit. Okay. Taurus, a Virgo Capricorn. The person can be in a different relationship. Taurus, Virgo Capricorns. Four of Pentacles, holding back. One more for that Four of Pentacles. Ace of Wands is a brand new, let's get rolling, start up, creative endeavor, having wonderful ideas to move forward, lots of passion. But this person's trying to decide if it's worth, you know, going forward in this. So they're thinking about this, but they do have interest in you sexually. All right, clean deck. Taurus. Source, what do we have for Taurus? What's coming their way in love? What is coming their way? Page of Wands reversed and the Chariot reversed. Looks like you are blocking somebody from coming your direction. The Chariot reversed is saying, I, I don't have the determination to allow you to come near me. Kind of not ready. Can be a cancer. Why the Page of Wands reversed? This person, you might feel, is a little bit just wanting to screw. Okay, so wands 
Revert, okay, bottom of the deck, you're the Three of Swords. So this can be somebody that has hurt you in the past, kind of in and out a little bit too fast. With the Page of Wands reverse, not necessarily reliable. How do you feel about this? Three of Cups. So it is somebody that you do feel emotions toward or do want to be with, but there's still a sense of not trusting. One more for the Chariot Reverse. Can also be that this is just not moving forward as fast as you would like it to. This person might not be showing enough work. Okay, no determination here. This person's kind of sneaky. Why the Seven of Swords? Can also be just holding back on how, you know, putting any emotions into this and just around for fun. Yeah, I'm kind of going with that. So this person comes in really quick. Okay, wands are sexual energy, sexual energy. Yeah. can have been a third party situation but there was something that you just you might not even know one more for the knight of wands i don't think you just want to have screwing so right now you're kind of just on the fence trying to make a decision how does this person feel about taurus Queen of Wands. So yeah, sexual interest. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They want to stay single. They want to stay independent. Why do they want to stay independent and single? King of Wands reversed. Well, they could have dealt with their own third party type bullshit in the past. Or they might have somebody in their life that is very jealous and they're already in a different connection. One more for that King of Wands reversed. Okay. It looks like they just got out of their own ending here with death. Also can be a Scorpio. So this is somebody that probably recently got out of a relationship there where there was trust issues. Somebody could have been too bossy with them. You know, with the wands, wands here as a pair. Mm. Three of cups. Yes, that could have been a third party situation. Things that you're just not aware of. Kind of blocking it right now. How does this move forward? This person can be a little bit of a coward. Going the wrong damn direction. Four of Cups. I think you're just going to drop this. It's like, I don't, I don't want to give you a missed opportunity with this person because they lied about something. However, it can be a Leo coming your way. So you might be better off moving forward away from this person. Scorpio... Leo could be coming your direction. Could be why we have the two pentacles here. You might need to be making a choice, but it does seem like this other person had an ending with somebody. Now they're just really having trust issues. It's going to also be what had happened to them. I'm not saying that this person's oh, playing the field all over town. Um, something else would probably make you happier is what we're getting here. This uh just not there's no determination to move forward necessarily with this person and there could have been a third party or you know it's you're still interested in that person so we have leo scorpio all signs are up here i do think that you're kind of blocking this energy or not letting it necessarily get off the ground all right we're gonna get out big blue big blue and an answer for you yes no maybe so for taurus and you have, yes. Okay, Taurus. Geminis. Okay, elemental quickies first. Geminis dealing with the fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, source. Six, one, ooh, hello. So this can be somebody at a distance. Distance, and I say that because a cherry can be about a distance going somewhere. And the six of wands, this is like moving forward moving to somebody else, but it also can be at a distance, but this is a lot of acknowledgement. Sweet. Also can be a, a Cancer. And then we also have the Moon. So you might not know everything there is to know about this person. I'm feeling the need to say this can be like some online information, but the Moon is not necessarily bad. It's just not knowing everything about somebody just yet. Also could just be a Pisces, but this look has really, I like it. I do. Maybe a little mysterious and fun. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The world reverse. I am not done with you yet. 
I don't care if you've moved on emotionally. Wow. So this person does not feel like this is wrapped up. There is no communication right now with this person. And bossy, unreliable. You got a control freak here. So it also can, you know, heavy on the Gemini. Also can be an Aries with the Emperor card. But they see you moving in a different direction. They don't think that it's necessarily over. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hierophant reversed and the Empress reversed. One more. This person can be a commitment phobe. Can also be a manipulator. Two of Cups. This is a disconnection because this person didn't want to you know, commit to this. They might have felt a little bit smothered. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Eight of Swords. This person does not feel that this is over. They're holding a victim mentality. They feel very stuck. They don't want this to be done. See what else flew out. So you got this uh, person that wants to come in fast and furious. I think you're going to block it. Judgment. They did something to screw this up royally. You got the seven of swords. There's no secrets here. They could have been sneaking around, snuck out, snuck away, sneaky, snickery shit. But I don't think you trust this person. Okay, clean deck. Clean deck. Gemini. All right. What do we have for Gemini's source regarding love? Generally speaking, what is coming their way? Okay. So there was a connection that just did not go exactly how you wanted it to go. One more for the Empress reversed. It just made you feel like there wasn't enough foundation here. So you have the wish fulfillment reverse. Things just did not turn out the way you wanted with somebody that you do care about. The Empress Reverse can be feeling that somebody was unfaithful, could have been immature, or that they were codependent. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups? feels like newer energy coming in. Yep, it sure the hell is. So you can have an Aries coming your way or a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's like, here's the history. Nine of Cups, not getting the wish fulfillment. Not content with the situation, how it had gone. Still could be in that. And wondering what the hell to do. But it does look like there is a new offer. Why the Knight of Cups? Let's get one for that. Knight of Cups. You got Romeo here that wants to, you know, show interest here. I don't think that... So this is new. A little bit of doubt here. It doesn't mean that it can't change. It feels extremely new. The fool is spending time with somebody, getting to know them. It's kind of a enthusiastic, newer, flirty relationship. I do think that this person eventually would have a, you know, decent balance. And also be the person that... Uh, you had felt a disconnect from or that didn't work on things. Let's get one more for that. Temperance. So some of you have brand new dating coming and some of you are trying to work things out with this person that you had been or still are in a connection with. Okay. I want to offer you. It's emotion. I have a cup for you. Well, temperance has two cups and it's two people that don't always see eye to eye or have very different personality traits can be Sagittarius, but it's balance, healing. That also is spending time, moderation, taking it slow. It's a very nice card. It's merging two things together to have a little bit more peace and harmony. It does look pretty, you know, pretty nice actually. So singles, there is newer dating coming. You still have a little bit of doubt and it's feeling more like it's with this person that you have been with before that could have made you feel a little bit smothered. Oh, they were whining about that. Let's get an answer from Big Blue. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, possibly. Okay, Gemini. On we go. Cancers. I'm going to get a shuffle here in this deck. Okay. Source, what do we have for Cancers? Dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. You have somebody that's interested here, but they don't want anything long-term. Which, uh, 
really no they're not offering a damn thing that's the knight of pentacles reversed it's like all i want to do is screw no uh -uh. careful with that one all right gemini libra aquarius eight of pentacles reversed somebody that has add when it comes to a connection you might not be speaking to them and the page of cups reversed why the page of cups reversed there's a little bit of a delay. This person is not ready yet to share, but there can be a nice contentment with this person or they're happy with the way things are now and they don't want anything to change. Also can be a Virgo with a Hermit there. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Nine of Wands reversed. This person is dropping it. They don't want to have anything to worry about anymore. Moving away from this emotionally, thinking it was too much to handle. And dealt with the commitment. This person also could have been in a commitment. Sun reversed. Disappointment. Could have been a commitment full, but I'm really feeling that with this Nine of Wands here. Oh, I'm so goddamn nosy. It's why I end up getting longer here. One more for the Nine. Somebody needs to let their walls down. So they, they could... However, with the King of Pentacles reversed, they also can be a little bit unreliable and might have been in too. I don't think they want to commit. I really don't think they want to commit. So that's kind of what the debate is here with that person. A little bit unreliable or lazy in relationships. I want to put work into it. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Swords and Temperance Reversed. A lot of impatience. This person is watching you. Let's get one more. This person could have been, they're really impatient. Watching, watching, watching. So what's the conflict about with this person? Okay, this is somebody that's a control freak. They want to move your direction. Can be a Cancer as well impatient as hell i don't feel that you're talking to this person there could have been a disconnect because of their reliability and right now they're watching let them watch all right clean deck okay source what do we have for cancers generally speaking in love the moon why the moon can be a pisces that you are dealing with who wants to come in really quickly, but very honestly as well, to tell you that they have narrowed down their options. Isn't that dandy? Why this eight of seven of cups reversed? Okay. So they don't want the competition or won't treat you like competition anymore. They want to come in really quickly to tell you that. Mm -hmm. One more for this Knight of Swords. Can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're full of shit. No. There's information that you do not know about this person. They come in real fast, but they're full of shit. Mm -mm. Could have treated, treated you like an option in the past, but like, uh, we don't have to argue about this. I won't make you an option. Why the moon watching you, trying to collect information? I think this is actually you trying to collect information. Do we get this information? Yes, you do. One more. Yeah. So there's things that people are going to be offering you to, you know, it's almost like getting the playing ground even so that you have something to stand on when you um, kind of come at this person about what they're holding back on. Moving forward. Clarification. The Queen of Swords doesn't take any shit at all. Cutting out what absolutely needs to be. There is no emotion here at all. None. No, there are no cups up here. This is very <laughs> defensive energy going, I think this. And this person going, no. So what can be coming your direction as a water sign? Scorpio, Pisces, another Cancer. But there's a little fishy that says, hey, I'm more reliable. Queen of Pentacles is reliable. Can be somebody that is an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that shows that they. There's this X. I am reliable. I want to come back. We'll start small. 
No, really. So, I mean, this person does care about you. Yes. I don't see a lot of love right now. I mean, it's really tiny, so this can be something new. can have a water sign coming your way, but things do look like they work out. I don't know that it's necessarily with this person that you're watching. Trust issues here. One more for the Empress. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, that's the next. Bottom of the deck, you have the counterpart. So, clear, conversating. This person doesn't tolerate any shit either. Well, maybe you make a good pair if neither one of you tolerate any shit. Dropping some of the arguments, trying to get a little bit of a balance with temperance can also be a Sagittarius there. So there's a need to clear up what the holding, you know, what, what's holding this up. What are they not telling you? What are they not sharing with you? Are they not sharing enough emotions? It can just be that simple trying to narrow things down a little bit. They could have treated you like an option, but there isn't any competition now. They're dropping that. The five can also be, I will compromise. All right, so Pisces is up here. All signs are heavy on the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Let me take another look here. Something's not quite done or wrapped up. The cycle is not closed yet. All right, yes, no, maybe so. And you have a no. Okay. Answer. I'm going to go to Leo's. All right, Leo's. We are going to get one shuffle in this deck. And we are going to start with Elemental Quickies. See what we have for you dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Nine of Swords reversed. Trying to drop the headaches. A little less anxious. Trying to trust. Knight of Pentacles reversed. I think you friends on this person. What else? And the high priestess. Mm. Hold them back. This person feels like you're just giving them, I hate to say breadcrumbing, but a little bit. It's like I'm working on myself right now, so I'm not giving you everything that you want. This can be somebody new. You still have a little bit of trust issues, so you're just kind of friend zoning them. It's like I need to start small or not at all. Take your pick, buddy. Chick. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Six of Pentacles, Reverse. See the horns there? One-sided. I'm taking all of it. Not sharing. Ace of Swords, full of shit, and it's reversed. There's a blockage here. This is not moving forward. What else? Four of Swords. Not talking to this person. I think you're trying to heal. Okay. And then we have the Chariot. So it can be a Cancer that you have on your mind. It can be at a distance, but... Um, I'm feeling this is more your determination to kind of take an emotional time out from this person. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Judgment. Do not mind that I did not lose that five pounds. It's not for you to be saying that. Judge you won. What else? This person used poor judgment in the past. They don't know what the hell they want. They're very confused. Then you have the Seven of Swords. So, you know, it's like everything's out on the table. They could have been holding back. But everything that's going on here, you're well aware of. So if there were secrets and bullshit and lies to sneaking off or third parties, you know about it. And then you have the Eight of Wands. This is like something that moved too fast or you're just putting a major halt sign on and going, I'm not dealing with this shit. So not talking to this person because you didn't feel any reliability. I think I'm a Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think, I think, I think. Justice reversed. Why justice reversed? Something's uneven here. Could be a mutual blame game. There's a little bit of bitterness. Seven of Wands. They're dropping it. The lover's reversed. You're not talking to this person. I think we need a fifth element. I really do. Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So they are watching you, but right now, disconnection. Seven of Wands. It's like... Upright that would say, I will still fight for this. They're not. Something not balanced here with this person. Something not fair or even. Okay, let's get a clean deck. It's like you got the truth of a matter and it was like, no, thank you. They need to take responsibility for their horse shit. Okay, clean deck. What is coming Leo's direction, generally speaking, with emotions? Source. Okay, two of cups reversed. Why do we have the two of cups reversed? 
So if you don't see things the same and you're not feeling the same way you did. Empress. Ooh, mothering yourself. I'm liking that. One more for us. Abundancy fire. Ooh. Hangman reverse. A little bit of a trust issue with this person that you had dealt with in the past that led to a disconnection. We already know this. One more for the hangman reverse. Yeah, you need to let go of this person. This is the Hierophant, which is five, and fives are conflict, but it's also saying that this person or you are a commitment full right now because of, you know, history and the shit that's happened in the past. You need to let go of that energy. Also can be a Taurus. One more for this two of cups. Seven. Okay, so it's you're just dropping it. You're like, I'm throwing in the red for the white. Red flags! Yes, that's what made you toss in the white flag was the red flags. Somebody that could have stepped out of the situation and screwed around. Saying like I see it, the Queen of Wands is outgoing. When she's reversed, she's bossy, shitty, controlling, does what the hell this person he or she wants to do and doesn't care how it affects other people. The only way that they do care is if they end up getting busted. Then they have a really interesting story. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, too. Um, judgment reversed. So hiding behind a mask of some sort and no, you would not forgive this person. Moving forward, forward, forward. Okay. What are you on the fence about here? Juggling a situation, juggling your emotions, trying to make a decision. Yuck. It's the King of Rods. King of Rods reversed. Why the King of Rods reversed? That's somebody that only cares about their own damn needs too. It can be a little bit on the fucking cruel side. What are you doing? Okay, that's the Knight of Cups reversed. Why the Knight of Cups reversed? Says somebody that tells you what you want to hear. I'm questioning their intent. Okay, so here's you. Well, I don't know why we have to do this fucking history lesson for you guys. I really don't. It's like you, I don't think you need a reminder of what the hell happened here. I don't. This person comes back. I think you're just going to barricade the door. Okay, it's emotionally. You're still working on your healing. You're moving out of a situation that didn't serve you emotionally anymore. It's like, I, I'm leaving. I can't do this anymore. I, I feel like I've done all that I can. You could have felt rejected. Moving forward, forward, forward. Okay, so source is telling you that you need to try to work on how you feel about yourself. And remember that not everybody is an asshole. It's a six of rods reversed. Okay, sun reversed is saying... You'll have your fulfillment, but you have to try to feel better about yourself. You know, believe in what you're trying to achieve. Oh, where to go? <clears throat> because right now, you're feeling like things just aren't going your way. <clears throat> so you're kind of holding yourself back, and you're really fucking irritated about it. There you are. That's, that's your card. That's strength reversed. Strength reversed. One more. Kind of a defeated feeling here. Okay, unrequited love. What signs can be possibly coming Leo's way? Okay. I, I you know, I'm just going to tell like it is. This is showing you having such bad memories of the past that you're holding on to energy that's that's keeping you in that. And until you reverse that, this is the Wheel of Fortune, until you reverse that... You can't move beyond it. Don't shoot the messenger. So this is saying, I'm staying single. I need to work on my independence. I need to work on how I feel about the things in the past. I need to be more positive about the things that happened in the past. You need to forgive and let go. <sighs> and then Prince Charming or Prince Princess Charmy will come your way. But until then, compromise. You need to... Heal. You need to feel better about yourself. You need to do some self-love. I hope this doesn't resonate for anybody, but that's really what I'm seeing. Emotionally feeling really down about yourself. Like you're not good enough. Like this person 
chose somebody over you or constantly kicked, you know, kind of emotionally kicked you in the ass constantly or poked you with a stick going, well, you know, so-and-so does this or so-and-so's butt's tighter than your, you know, it's like really who gives a shit, okay? The person that you have been with, this is you and this person that you had dealt with previously, both reversed. Neither one were happy. They could have been just bossy, shitty, control freak that just constantly, to make themselves feel better, had to poke you with a stick. Poke them back. Beat them with a fucking stick. All signs are up here. The disconnection still comes in and out. So Leo, yourself, fire signs are heavy up here. Oh, let's see. Do we have any air? Pisces. Taurus. I don't see any air in here. So... Not the signs necessarily matter because everybody has other placements. Let's get an answer, Leos. Yes, no, maybe so. You yeah, have Definitely not. Really crappy energy. I'm sorry. All right, on we go. Virgo, Virgo, Virgos. Okay, Virgos, we are going to do elemental quickies first. And then we will see what your energy looks like today for love. Here is Leo Sagittarius. Ace of Swords reversed and squabbles and bullshit. So this person is lying about something. Could be competition. One more. Holding back. Waiting. So you'd have to wait for this person. There can be a distance as well. So a little anticipation there yet with that one. Not completely wrapped up. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. One more shuffle. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Lazy. No good. This person's not concentrating on this right now. They're holding their emotions back. However, they are thinking about you. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could move forward. This person has a lot of determination. There's something that needs to be argued out. You could friend zone them, but this is like, mm, starting with a small message, it turns into this big blow up, but this could move forward. The Page of Pentacles can be somebody that's younger and doesn't know how to offer things correctly. It's like they put their own foot in their mouth, but that's a lot of determination. Can be a choice between two. Got a little yin yang going on here. There's an argument here that needs to be taken care of. Otherwise, nice. I mean, this looks really good other than that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. So this person's not, there's no emotion here right now. Uh -huh. But there is for you. Okay, so they have interest in you. I think this is more like personality-wise. They have resting bitch face. This is newer dating can also be an Aries, but it's like starting up anew, some optimism. I really think that they just have a very non-caring odor type shell, but on the inside, they really aren't that way. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. All right. Source, what do we have for Virgos in love right now? What is coming their way? Somebody's not done with you. Why the hangman reversed? This is like not feeling like you're getting any progress. Resisting change. Definitely resisting change. Page of cups reversed. Why the page of cups reversed? Disappointment or heartbreak. Not sharing. Not talking. And you have the Page of Swords, and what else came out? Five of Swords. So there's some arguments, bickering, some damn shitty ones, and now this person is just watching you, trying to collect information. How does Virgo view this? Okay. Justice reverse. So it can be a Libra. There's something that's not even here, but there's a bitter, cold separation. Somebody needs to take responsibility for whatever the hell they did. Uh, strength reversed, and you're irritated as hell. Yuck. What's coming? New, 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 new. New. Let's see what hit the dirt. Emperor. Stability. I like it. What else? 
Three of Wands. You're going to make this person wait. They probably put you in a third party situation. You're just going to say it like I see it. So this person doesn't feel like it's done. You're going to have to decide after ripping their head off and shitting down their neck if you're going to forgive them or not. Irritated. You might be. <laughs> but are you going to forgive this person because they want to boss up and be more responsible? Moving forward. Ace of Cups, I don't think that you want to. It's like, I don't feel the same way I did. Unrequited. Not saying yes to that. This is, you know, holding on to the lies and bullshit. Whatever the hell happened. And bottom of the deck, you have the devil. So it can be a Capricorn. This is lies and deception. I don't think it's something that you can forgive. Bottom of the deck, you have the co-partner cool to the emperor who is upright, holding their ground. You're going, I'm not dealing with the codependent bullshit and the lies and manipulation. Probably a cheater. Moving forward. Oh, yeah. So you tell them like it is. You're cutting them off. You're not dealing with the unreliability and the Nine of Swords. You're really actually moving quite past it. You would not forgive them. Judgment reversed. Okay. Well, shitty energy. So it can be a Leo that you're dealing with or somebody new coming your direction that is a Leo. Right now, Libra, Scorpio. Really sticking to your guns and your beliefs and whatever the hell happened was not fair. Didn't like it. Okay, let's see what else we have up here. Earth signs, air signs. I don't see that you feel the same here. Unrequited love, ace of cups reversed. Doesn't matter how stoic they act. I don't think you're going to have it. Mm -mm. Pisces, heavy on the air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A little bit of Aries Leo Sag in here. Let's get an answer for you. Yes, no, maybe so, please. Go for it. Yes, changing the locks on the door. Change the lock on my back door. Now their key don't fit no more. Libra. Libra is dealing with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, seven of cups reversed. What's, what else came out? The Two of Cups, the Star, the Lovers. Ooh, nice. Okay, so this person here can be a reconciliation. The only thing that we don't really like is like a little confusion, but it looks like it gets cleared up. The Lovers is two. This is a heavy connection. It can be an Aquarius, but it does look like two people that feel the same. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, hangman reverse, some trust issues here, stagnancy, getting restless, what else? Knight of Pentacles reversed, not as interested as they once had been, not reliable in the moon. No, I think that they're nervous as hell. You got a big candy ass here, this uh, afraid of moving forward. Seven of Wands, they're dropping it. Okay, they are saying I'm done. Okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Hair font reversed. Why? Also can be a Taurus. This person could be in a different relationship or married or in something else long term. It's like I'd say commitment full, but it looks like they're already involved. One more. Manipulation. Run for the hills, Libra. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Justice. So it can be a Libra. There's balance. Cause and effect. Being objective. Five of Cups. This is somebody that wants to apologize and make things fair. Doesn't feel like you're talking to this person right now. I think they learned their lesson. Can also be a Virgo. Okay. Clean deck. Clean deck. Libras. Source, what do we have for Libras? Generally speaking, in love. Generally speaking, you got some fast action. Why the Knight of Swords? Because the Fool reversed. Okay, so somebody's going to come your direction really fast and act like an idiot. Why do we have the Fool reversed? It's like they are a little bit immature. Don't know how to... Uh... Okay. Eight of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords reversed? Seeing clearly... Seeing a way out of the situation, kind of freeing themselves, but in a really stupid way. Okay. 
So they want to offer something and make themselves more emotionally available after being a fool. Can be an Aries. How does that make you feel? On the fence. Two pentacles. It's like something that you need to decide. Can mean Aquarius, but this does look like it can move forward. Holy crap. So you have some confusion here. Two people that didn't agree on something. Somebody that could have acted like an idiot. Betrayal. Could have been toying with you. A little bit too impulsive or made a shitty choice. And then you have them going, I will change my ways. I will be emotionally available to you. So that's all. I mean, it just might have been that you weren't taking that story and you're like, fine, I'm dropping it. The star yearning. Expectations fulfilled or renewed faith, but it's a good sign. Able to heal and attain this goal. What else do we have? Oh, the lovers. Wow, that's nice. So, yeah, you know, you're not done with this person yet. You have the world reversed. It's like this, this is not wrapped up. No. This person used shitty judgment. I think they're trying to change their ways. And then you have the Empress. So there also could be a pregnancy going on here, but they do not want a tower ending. They are really showing some courage and changing. And there you are, Libra. Tell me the fucking truth or I will just walk away. So there's a little bit of a wait. It's like you're kind of waiting to see, is this person really going to change? They could have made you a choice between two people. doesn't have to be. It can just be that it's a Gemini or an Aquarius. Aries, Taurus, they did something that pissed you off and rubbed you the wrong way. Also can be a Leo. They are trying to compromise, change a little bit because this is something that they actually do want. They don't feel like that they are done, like this chapter is over. Trying to reach for the stars here, make a wish. Let's see if you feel the same way. Does Libra have interest in this? Mm -hmm. You're still thinking about it. Ooh. Why the high priestess? So you're being a little bit, you're using your instincts but you're, and your gut feeling, but you're not really telling them what you think yet. But I'm telling you, you do have feelings for this person. It is a good connection. Dropping the conflict. Five of swords. Compromising. Not feeling the need to be right all the time. I think that's what they're working on doing here for you, Libra. This is actually nice energy. A lot of up and down. So one hell of a roller coaster. But this is somebody that there is, could be a soulmate or one hell of a connection. This isn't done yet. Mm -mm. They don't want this to be done. This is avoiding an ending. Denial. But avoiding an ending. Refusing that change. But actually putting some more. So they're coming fast. The fool. <laughs> All right, all signs are up here. Leo, Gemini, mm, Aries. All signs are up here, though. Heavy on the emotions. All right, let's get an answer. Yes, no, maybe so for Libras. And we have... Ask again later. Mm, excuse me. All right, Libras, that's what I have for you today. Okay, Scorpios, dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, six of pentacles and the emperor. Nice. Stable and balanced. We like that. Heavy in the Aries. I'm going to leave it right there. Holy smokies. I like it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ask and you shall receive. Two pentacles reversed, knight of swords, and the eight of wands. So I think that this person's going to be coming in real fast to talk about something that you dropped or they dropped. Ooh can be at a distance, but I do see communication. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups and Page of Wands. So this person wants to come back your direction. Offer this new start. And, you know, there is sexual interest here. So this has to start small. But I think they're extremely interested. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Queen of Pentacles. One or two more, please. All right. Death and the Nine of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to be single. They could have been a little bit emotionally smothering. 
This is done. Now I'm also going to say they could have been in a different relationship. A little bit of codependence here. Can also be a Scorpio. Okay. Clean deck. Let's see, we have Scorpios. Source, what do we have for Scorpios and love? General messages regarding love and their energy today. Okay, the world reversed. Make sure you can see that. World reversed. Why the world reversed? All right, let's get one or two more. So the cycle isn't done. This person wants to come in and communicate in a very stern way. Okay. Okay, why the Page of Cups? Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. Interesting. Okay, this person could be pissed off because you have other suitors that are after you, but they do not feel like this chapter is wrapped up. They're all like, not complete here. Could be a little bit on the frustrated side. Eight of Pentacles. This could be somebody or an interest that you have meeting online. Eight of Pentacles can see a lot of typing back and forth. Busy, busy, busy. Putting work into things. Somebody is watching the situation. One more for the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Cups. So it can be a water sign. It can be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm seeing more than one person up here for damn sure. This person wants to come back. I'm going to put that up here. So the very stoic jackass up here wants his way or her way. They have a lot to say. So they're going to try to come in and offer love again. Could be asking you out, trying to give you something to make up for lost time, etc. How do you view this person? Unreliable. So it can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. King of Wands reversed has no regard to other people's feelings. This uh, King of Swords, male or female, doesn't seem, you know, they don't give a shit either. It's really more about what they consider to be fair. This is going to be something that you really need to sit on and think about. But holy crap, this person wants to come back your direction. That's five pentacles reversed. It's like a little bit of a mutual blame game. I won't treat you like an option anymore. Sorry, but it's there. End of the situation, end of that cycle, according to you, because of somebody snicking off like a snake. Snake. So it looks to me like you are moving forward. I don't think this person's done. I think they want to come back in and try to reestablish a connection with you, but not in a very nice way. I mean... You're being intuitive about this. You might block their... <laughs> you might just uh, put a major block on that. Be like, I'm, I'm not moving forward with you. I don't even want to talk to you. How does this move forward? They still want to make that offer. Ace of Pentacles can be a tangible gift, can be a gift of money, but it does feel like they have something to offer to bring to the table. I see you talking to other people. I don't know. It can be a Libra coming your, your direction, but I don't know if you trust them. Justice reversed. Could have been lies. Mutual blame again. Bitterness. And that king definitely can be bitter. So can the king of wands reverse. There's something that's unreliable about that person. They could have stepped out. King of wands is very sexual. One more for movement forward. You're going to make them wait. So this is something that you need to think about. This is somebody that you did dearly care for. That's a possible Gemini with a lover's card here. It's underneath of that. But you feel like they're full of shit or not giving you an entire amount of truth. There's just something about, and there it is again, underneath the deck. The four of wands reverse. So this is a disconnection at the time right now. This is showing you not trusting this person, not even really want to talk to them. Using your intuition, could be talking to other people. You're going to make this go slow if it goes forward at all. There's major trust issues here. The two of wands, it's like, mm, there's sexual interest, but you still have to make a choice. Might have options and a little bit of a wandering eye. I'm not calling you out. I'm saying I don't yeah, I don't blame you. If that's what had happened here, if this resonates for you, you're moving forward no matter what. This would have to be divine timing. They're saying they have more balance to give. 
Does it look like it with this? Yes. Also can be that you're just moving towards somebody that has more balance and harmony and gives you a sense of security. Manifesting. Some of you are manifesting this person back. Some of you not having it. That's commitment phobia. Big time commitment phobia. And really holding your ground with the emperor here. Can be a Taurus as well. Somebody's manifesting, trying to get this to be more balanced. But the wheel of fortune does move to your advantage. Turns forward. Good luck. Things working out the way that you want them to be. Can be unplanned occurrences. But it's definitely changes. And it's a new cycle. So it's good turning point. There's a choice to make. So the devil's cute and all. There's definitely going to have to be, you have to make a choice. Do you pick the devil or do you pick something new? If you're considering this person to be the devil, maybe you already have your answer. Can just be a Capricorn, but look at how he's got his hand. <laughs> oh, he's got something to offer, all right. The devil can just be that they're obsessed with you or you are obsessed with them, but it also can be vices that are unhealthy so materialism screwing around gambling drinking too many friends with the uh, frolic involved in it this is really going to be your choice because it does look like there is a possibility of a reconnection but i do see other people have their eye on you mm -hmm. you will succeed you will move forward you will try um mm-hmm Definitely. Six of Wands, beautiful card for being successful. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's see, we have Capricorn, Aries Leo Sag. A lot of new messaging. Somebody definitely has a little bit of a crush on you. Might not necessarily see that, but I, I think you really are making, it's almost like you're making them really think about this. Some of you want this person back. Not done stalking somebody's watching could also be you checking out what the hell they're doing to see if you were right or not it does look like they could have treated you like an option in the past but don't plan to do so now and they are not happy with the fact that you're making them wait libra aries leo sag taurus virgo capricorn all signs are up here let's get an answer for you yes no maybe so for scorpio you have a definitely not however kind of wrecked to yes so it's going to depend on how you're feeling about your situation. Can't resonate with everybody. Okay, on we go. We're going to get a shuffle here. I'm going to go to Sag. Right, Sagittarius. Source, Sagittarius's. Elements first, elemental quickies. Dealing with a fire, Aries Leo or another Sagittarius. Okay. Ooh, movement forward. Page of Wands, new messaging, new interest, creative spark. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This definitely could be going forward. This can be a choice between two people, but it's planning. There is a weight heavy on the fire signs here. Manifesting a new beginning. It can be new dating. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Return to sender. Yes, they still aren't done. Are they going to put work into it? Nope. Okay, so this is somebody that you have dealt with before. They do not feel like they have any closure here. It looks like they were a little bit lazy or ADD when it came to the relationship. Bottom of the deck, you have an apology. So you might hear from this person just yet. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, please. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay, this is somebody that you already know. That's reminiscing, can be holding on to the past, but it does look like positive messages right now. The Page of Pentacles, it's a small offering. Can be them offering you a gift. It can be just messaging, texting back and forth. Heartbroken. King of Pentacles can be in a different relationship. And with the three of swords there, I'm wondering if there had been a third party. Oh yeah, third party situation. Or something very on and off, but it certainly looks like a third party. The Knight of Wands, in, out, in, out. Not reliable. The King of Pentacles usually, not always, but can represent somebody that's in a long-term relationship. Very committed type person, gone wrong. They still might offer something or start talking to you again. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. 
Two of Pentacles reversed. What else? Might not be in contact with this person. They threw in the white flag saying they've had enough. They, I don't think they want to work with you. One more. I'm nosy. No, this person is full of shit. The Page of Swords reversed. They could be into gossiping and talking about what they think happened, but I don't think you're talking to them. It's like they almost want to have backing. Blah. Okay, Queen Deck. Source, what do we have for Sagittarius? Generally speaking, in love. General messages with love. Ooh, somebody's manifesting something passionate. Very nice. The magician is movement forward. It's a lot of will. Well, the Queen of Wands also has a lot of will, male or female. This is somebody that's really outgoing, good looking, and wants to come your direction. Why are the Six of Swords reversed? Why are the Six of Swords reversed? It can be bad timing in love. It doesn't always have to be a return of an ex. It can be resisting a change. It, and yes, it can be your return. Using your intuition. Well, got to say, you got two queens up here. Reversed cheating. Upright, not. Not. Okay, two paths, two directions. You are going to have to sit on this one and think about it because it does look like some, but you using your intuition, you could be manifesting this without even realizing it. The thoughts that you put in your head and willfulness that you have, the power of your mind is extraordinary. The two of wands, there's a fork in the road. There's two different directions to go. Bottom of the deck, you have the ace of cups. So what you don't see coming is a new offer. One more for this queen. Very intuitive. Hangman. So this does feel like somebody that you aren't speaking to right now. Page of Pentacles. This is starting small. This is messaging, but it is offer. It's like an offering, almost like a peace offering, but it's tangible. So your phone, messaging, emails, whatnot. Very powerful energy. Holy crap. Can be an Aries Leo Sag. Water signs also up here, but with that hangman. One more for the hangman. Where does this move? How does this move forward? Needing to get a different outlook and kind of just give in to what you, okay, but you want to stay single for now. Bottom of the deck, okay, Ace of Wands. It's a lot of energy, intense passion, very, very strong chemistry between you and somebody. Mm-hmm. can be something that you're extremely motivated in as far as an interest, but it can also be very, very exciting news. That's two aces in here. So some of you are going one direction and some of you are going the other. Eights of Pentacles is being able to work on a situation, dedicating themselves, dedicating yourself, having a very, very practical approach, but it's still a new chapter. Whatever the hell you decide, it looks like you're going to win. Can be a Leo coming your way. Oh, the bottom of the deck, you have the counterpart. Aries Leo Satch. There is no gender in tarot. This is just saying that this was a good union or could be a good union and something that you would be happy about. This, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's very inspirational, but it also is manifesting and having belief to move forward. It is a mutual love, and this is really nice, okay? So you might be holding on to that independence a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Waiting a little bit, a little bit of a delay, some of you are going to try to reconcile with an ex, and some of you are starting over. It's really going to be a split on this one, but either direction really looks like what you want. Anyway, all signs are up here. Heavy on the Aries Leo Sag. And Leo. Do we have any swords? Yeah, a little bit of fire. Otherwise, more earth. Okay, let's get an answer. With big blue, yes, no, maybe so for Sag. You have a no. Okay. Thank you, Sages. On we go. Shuffle in this deck. Capricorns. Elemental quickies first. Let's see what we get for Capricorns dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Nine of Wands, the Star, and the Page of Swords. This person 
is watching. They're a little bit, they're afraid to get hurt, but they still have hopes that this could move forward. Also can be an Aquarius, so you're being stalked and watched. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ace of Wands, new screwing, new fun, something that you would stick up for or defend. Having the upper hand, heavier on the fire here. Okay, Six of Cups. Mm, holding on to the past a little bit. One more. So this person kind of wants to fight for this. Queen of Wands. A lot of sexual interest here. This person wants to fight for this. They, they you know... <laughs> They can't let go of the past, so expect to hear from somebody that you already know or had been involved with. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Five of Cups. Headache. Moving past. The master manipulator. Too much arguing. And no. No. Regret. Remorse. Screw that. Taurus. Virgo Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles reversed. And... Death. Okay, so this person feels that you yanked the rug out from under their feet. Now they are alone. They also could have been a little bit codependent too. One more can be a Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles relies on others, can be codependent emotionally or financially, and they feel like um, you owe them one. I mean, the King of Cups is like, I'm emotionally available. Take me. Mm, could have been, oh, I'd be careful with that. This this person wants to get moving a little bit too quick here. Strength also can be a Leo reversed. So this person, I'd be really careful. They had an ending of a different relationship and basically want to put themselves in a new one too fast. A little bit like unhealthy quick. Okay, clean deck. Okay, source. Capricorn person most on their mind or in their energetic field. Four of Wands reversed. End of a cycle. King of Wands, unreliable. And some dreamy crap. This one came out kind of sideways, so we're going to leave it that way. All right, so you're, you're in the midst of a breakup. There's unstable. Stability here, it, the, the king of wands reversed, doesn't care how other people feel. So somebody could have walked out. This was a heavy connection. It was a committed connection. Page of cups can be a peace offering. It can be a crush. It can be new messages, but it is positive. How do they view you? Okay, yeah, they, wanna, they want to offer something besides what's in their pants. Page of Wands is saying a new beginning that can grow, but it's positive messaging. How do you view them? Okay, so they hurt you. You are slowly dropping this. Bottom of the deck, you have temperance, so it can be a Sagittarius, but this is like two people needing to heal. Okay, yeah, and then you have the four swords reversed. Getting to the point where this person's ready to talk now. Okay, I'm going to leave that out. Nine of Pentacles right underneath of that. So it's like this emotional codependence or not wanting to be single anymore. One more for that Nine of Swords reversed. Could be that you are dropping the trust issues, making peace with the situation, getting your balance back for sure. Yeah. I don't think either one of you want this ending. Lovers, you know, whether they're reversed or upright, there's still a very strong connection here. Somebody kind of, it just looks like they kind of got assholey. One more for the King of Wands reversed. Can be a little cruel. It could have just been that they were not treating you very well. Yeah. You see how she just looks like, <sighs> two fours there was instability three fours i'm sorry three fours there's still passion here and there is a potential of new growth underneath that rebirth so there would have to be a lot of changes if you started over also can be a scorpio but this person still has interest and passion and it does seem like you do as well how does this move forward 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 Okay, so you have the Two of Pentacles, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is some, you know, on the fence, almost like you're working out the details. This, 
sexual energy knight of wands wanting to come in quick might be a little bit hasty but oof this person can be a little bit emotionally or immature you know like they act a little bit like why are you doing that nipple head seriously they need to boss up a little bit so you're going to speak your piece and rip their damn head off i think they're still going to stick around i do look at this look at this the empress and the star can be an aquarius rebirthing having a lot of hope this does look like a potential reconciliation it does have nice energy on it i think they owe you an apology it's got you really just not able to think straight but you're dropping you know some of the anxiety this balance here is like two people that are so different and yet kind of yin and yang each other two of pentacles can also be you know a nice balance but this also can be, you know, juggling work, not people always does not have to be juggling people it can be juggling, having a lot on your mind and a lot to take care of. That is what I'm seeing here. So we have Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy on the fire, little bit of water signs, heavy on the Sag again, and then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, this is kind of like the the uh, goal here. Ten of Pentacles, it's like having that stability, having the home, having the family, the kids, the whole nine yards. Get an answer from source. Ooh, bump the cam. Yes, no, maybe so. Go for it. All right. Capricorns, and now we go to Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what we have. Eeny, meeny, miny, more on the deck here. Okay. We're going to use this one. One shuffle. We are going to do elemental quickies first. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we have? Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. I don't feel that you're talking to this person. The Eight of Swords, you kind of are starting to see a way out of the situation that they have put you in, but I think they were full of shit. They could have juggled you, and you are not talking to them. Bye-bye to that one okay gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius source Ooh, that was an impressive 180 in the air i'm telling you you guys should have seen that six of swords queen of pentacles reverse this person's moving away i almost feel like they got booted away really quick because why unreliable could have been slothy in the relationship full of shit chariots like Vamuski. This is emotionally moving away. You say good riddance. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's move these guys a little. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay. So here's the magician. Somebody manifesting, trying to come in and offer something. They might be blocking this. One of the two of you is. This is supposed to be their energy. You got the Ace of Wands reverse. That's saying, eh, eh. Not happening. False start. Loss of interest. And yet there's the magician. Very powerful person that owes you an apology. Regretting what the hell they had done. Ugh. No, no, no nipple heads. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five, four, sorry, four of wands and seven of, okay. This person's holding back on this. They're causing their own damn problems in this connection. The seven of swords is either not giving to a situation or lying in full of shit. Page of swords, they're watching you. They're trying to use their intuition or they have a lot of love for you. Bottom of the deck, you have death. It's done. It can also be a Scorpio, but I don't think... Whatever this disunion, this breakup with the Four of Wands reverse, yes, something's not right. She's going to fall. He, she, she, she's going to fall out of her hammock, man. She's going to drop her damn martini. No, not reliable. Okay. Careful with that. Let's get a clean deck. Clean deck, Aquarius. Source. What do we have in Aquarius's energetic field regarding love? Bum, 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 bum. 
Okay, so this person still wants to argue this out. I love you. I do. I offer you what? What are you offering? I will drop the bullshit and tell you what you want to hear. More for this night. Knight of Swords comes in swift. Two queens up here. Why? Mm. One more for the five of swords. Reversed. Okay, things didn't. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. How about that shit? It didn't, things did not work out the way they wanted to with this potentially Queen of Wands. Okay, one more for that Queen of Wands. Strength reverse. So they want to get this shit moving. I see you irritated as hell. Can be a Leo. I'm feeling a little past interference here. Why is strength reversed? Like they're they're fighting this defeat. Player ways, I don't give a shit. In too fast, out too fast. This is a lot of passion, a lot of irritation, you using your intuition, fighting, arguing, and the grass isn't greener on the other side. What do we have moving forward? Slow roll. You have to think about this. You need more time. There it is. So this person's ready to talk, but the question is, are you? Okay, this is showing a potential coming back. So is the five of swords in some circumstances, and this one I do feel it is. Reliable. Not happy. Oh, bummer. Things just did not turn out the way they thought it was going to be. The rest was not green on the other side. There could have been fucking concrete. But they want to talk. You might too. It is going to be arguing. So the three of rods here this is something that you are going to make this person wait which might piss them off that's too bad one more for this five five of rods a lot of bickering now this is somebody that you at one time felt a lot of love for so this is not the easiest decision or circumstance what you want what is coming is justice so it can be a libra this is somebody having to uh <sighs> See how the scales are balanced? It's like they need to take responsibility for what the hell they did. Make things more fair. Make things more even. There's the apology. And here's the fresh start. Not talking right now. Did they learn a lesson? Looks like it. Sincere offer. Telling it like it is. Yes, this does look like it can go forward. But oh boy. You know, I think Santa should shit in their stocking this coming Christmas because holy crap they were flirting or doing something that you did not approve of causing this fight this um this is them basically just telling you what you want to hear but I do see that they regret whatever the hell had happened here this is you making them wait a little bit they don't want to wait the strength I know I make a mess don't I it's great fun Strength reversed can just be I, wanting to, let's get going here. Not holding back. They don't want to hold back. They want to get the show on the fucking road, and you are just saying, chill. It does look like they learned a lesson. They have something to offer. They do see you as a counterpart. Could be starting over. Yes. It's really going to be your call because I do see this person coming back to try to hash the shit out. Aries, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces are up here heavily. You got Virgo, Leo, Libra. This person's got like resting bitch face, you know? It's almost like when they speak, they don't sound sincere, but they probably do feel that. I still don't trust it. Whatever they had done, in and out, real fast. A lot of passion with that Prince Charming. Apologies, yes. Grass, concrete. Not smoother on the other side. All right. Yes, no, maybe so for Aquarius. Ask again later. I think you need a little more time to swallow everything that's happened. Okay, now we go to Pisces. All right, Pisces. We are doing elemental quickies first. I want a fresh deck. Here we go. Source. Pisces dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. 
Okay, so you have the Four of Wands reversed, and then you got too much bullshit up here. You got the Knight of Wands in and out, in and out, on and off, on and off, and the Queen of Swords. This person is really pissed off. Now, roles can be reversed, but this does look like player action that ended a relationship. What do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Okay. King of Swords, the Hermit Reverse. This person is being an asshole, major manipulator, and ignoring you on purpose. Also can be a Virgo. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? All right. Eight of Swords reversed. Trying to find a way out of a situation they have put themselves into. Five of Cups. Why the Five of Cups? You know, emotionally moving away from something and wanting to come in quick. This person will, you know, drop the bickering and the bad, bad fighting, but they're going to tell you whatever you want to hear to try to smooth this over. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Temperance reversed. Very impatient, not balanced. Can be a Sagittarius. What else? The moon reversed. Why the moon reversed? Anxiety or full of shit? Or a big pussy. Okay, so this is competition. This is arguments and squabbles. This person's kind of a wimp. Temperance reversal is saying not, there is no patience here. There is no balance. One more. Nine of Cups. They're looking for contentment. Are they looking for a long time or a short time? The Five of Wands can be competition or, or just you know, squabbling and bullshit. Nine of Cups. This is them taking care of their own wishes, though. Hang man, they're holding back right now. They're probably not speaking. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Clean deck. Okay. Source, what do we have for Pisces dealing with love generally? Okay, you have the Page of Cups. I'm never going to look at the Page of Cups the same again. Mm -mm, not telling you why. Page of Cups is a crush. It's a new start. It's a peace offering. It's love in a mini version. Messaging, texting, King of Pentacles with somebody that can be a Taurus or a Capricorn but is reliable. Tell us more about this king. Okay. Well, let's see here. Holding back emotionally upright or full of shit reversed. Okay, so they're not sure, Jesse, they could be working a lot. So this could be why you're getting a small offer from this person, holding back a little bit, but very, very positive. Can be a Leo. How do you feel about this Page of Cups? So this feels newer. Ace of Swords. Why the Ace of Swords? You might be blocking this. Why the Ace of Swords reversed? Why the Ace of Swords can be a little bit of a verbal conflict. Okay, judgment. You are not sure that this is what is best for you. Very concerned about lies and bullshit. One more for the Ace of Swords. Marathon. Okay, so you want a commitment. You don't want somebody that's going to hold back on their emotions, and that could be part of the problem. But if this is new... A little bit early. It can be a Taurus as well. How do you feel about this person? Came of Wands. Okay, well, you're digging it like a shovel. Can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but that's saying that this is somebody that is bold, very courageous, passionate. They are not shy. They know what they want and they know how to get it, but that's showing interest. Moving forward. What do we have moving forward with this king? Could have more than one person coming your direction, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you are undecided. So you have two people telling it like I see it here. does feel like you're more interested in somebody else that you had a commitment with before. The moon, unsure. Illusions, fears, hidden truths. It's all in your perception. It can be a Pisces as well. Whatever you decide is going to work out fine. Wheel of Fortune, that's divine timing. 
I think you're battling more yourself. So there is somebody that's interested in you. It can be somebody that's at work kind of flirting with you. There's something that you weren't sure about or there needs to be a discussion because right now you're kind of just putting, putting a big hold on. I need one more for that Ace of Swords. All right, so this is an ex wanting to come back your direction and you need to think. Two Pentacles. It's a choice that needs to be made. You're juggling people. You're juggling the thought of two people or you could be suing. It's a need to balance the aspects of yourself so that you can decide what you want. So there can be a Leo, Pisces, Hierophant, Taurus. I see more than one person. Somebody could have deceived you. They want to have it out. You're putting a block on it right now. You're using your judgment. Somebody wants to apologize. Definitely possible. The person that you have more passion towards. King of Pentacles still has interest. King can be a female as well. Does not have to be a male. The Wheel of Fortune is saying this is divine timing. This is all about uh, unplanned happening. Something you might not see coming. But it's a change and it's positive. It's the beginning of a new cycle. A good turning point. It's a gain after a trial. You know, Having had gone through trials, things will move forward in a positive way. All right, let's get an answer from Source. Let's see what we have. Now, roles can be reversed. I'm not saying that you're cheating, but there is something that you will have to think about. All right, yes, no, maybe so. And if you are, you are. None of my damn business. Okay, possibly. It's what we have for you, Pisces. Thank you so very, very much for viewing. We will see you next time, and many blessings.